Hey friendos, it's Nene. Today we're going to talk about know-it-alls and why they are kind of annoying. So an example of this is that I recently bought a betta fish and his name is Carl. He's so cute and I love him. Well, I bought a betta fish and I am not a fish expert. There's still a lot I have to learn about fish, but I know enough about betta fish that I felt confident enough to have one as a pet. So for example, just a few basics like Beta fish need to live in at least two and a half gallon tank, if not more. If you live in a warm climate, you probably don't need a heater, but if you live in a colder climate, you might want a heater because the water has to be between like 72 and 80 degrees uh, because they're tropical fish. And it's really recommended that you have a filter for your any fish really, I, I would say. But that being said, you know, Beta fish are not as low maintenance as one might think and that's fine because you know we hear a lot of myths about beta fish I'm not an expert but I know myself So I'm talking with my friend about my beta fish and I just mentioned that oh you know I can't wait to buy him a new tank I want to buy him a bigger tank so he'll have more room to swim and they reply back with oh beta fish don't need a bigger tank they could live in a vase or a tiny bowl so that was number one. Then I was like, I was trying to be polite. I was like, yeah, but I want to buy him a bigger tank and, you know, get him a heater. And then they said, no, they don't need a heater because they're fit. Like, I don't know what they said really, but they just. So then they go on to say that beta fish don't need a heater. So in my head, I'm pretty annoyed, and I'm trying to be polite as possible because because I'm talking to a friend of mine, and I don't want to be rude, but, like, first of all, bitch, like, you don't have a fish. You don't own beta fish, and if you did, I really hope you don't because that, what? Because beta fish are not supposed to be in a tiny bowl. Technically, yes, they can live in a small bowl, but does it mean they should live in a small bowl? So yeah, so then we moved on from that topic and we started, I started talking about how uh, fish are really not as, you know, forgetful as people might think. Um, because there's like a myth that fish have very, very short memories and that's not true at all. Um, and I said that to them, you know, I was like, hey, because uh, I was talking about my fish and I'm like, and I said, oh, I think my fish is starting to recognize me as his owner. And then they were like, oh, that's not possible. Fish don't have a memory like that. I got kind of annoyed again because because I I actually did research about this, right? You know, like way before I got a beta. But I learned that fish really don't have as short of a memory as we think they do. Like they're actually pretty smart animals. And there's even studies about fish and their memory. So after they tried to tell me I was wrong about the whole fish and memory thing, I was like, okay, I will send you an article later and you could read it and tell me what you think. So I sent them an article that was like a research thing done by scientists that basically talks about, um, you know, fish having a much better memory than we all thought they did. And she replies back with, oh, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. So, so then they go on to say like, oh yeah, but it wasn't like an actual article. I was like, alright, you know what, fine. If you refuse to believe what I'm saying is true about fish, can you show me proof that what you're saying is correct, that fish really do have a three second memory? And they were like, yeah, sure, hold on. So here's my favorite part about all of this, right? They reply back and their reply was, I stand corrected. And I was like, at that point, I just felt very satisfied because not only like, were you wrong, but you admitted you were wrong. And because they couldn't handle the fact that they were not right about this, they sent me a random article. I don't even know what it was about. And they said, oh, here's an example of what a scholarly article looks like, by the way. And I got really annoyed because I'm like, uh, okay, all right, bitch. I'm like, hey, no offense. I know what a scholarly article looks like. I know what a peer review article looks like. So it was so hard for them to accept that they were not right about this, that they had to send me an example of what a, a peer review academic journal looks like. And I, that's what really ticked me off. Like that really peeved me off, guys.
Like, this story doesn't really have a moral to it, I guess. I mean, maybe it does if you look deep enough. But really, like, the whole idea behind it is I was just annoyed. I was really annoyed by that because, like, don't be condescending and tell people they're wrong when you yourself don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I got. I also got defensive because I really love my fish. Like, I think he's adorable. <laughs> um... But yeah, I got defensive because I really love my fish, and I I love animals in general, and so when people question, like, when people tell you how to take care of your pets, it's kind of an annoying thing, especially when they're wrong. But yeah, uh, that's my little rant, and as always, friendos, thank you for watching. Okay, I love you, bye bye